And that's the reason that we've come up with what we're calling the library system. It's essentially a system um, which operates in real time. It streams seamlessly in the background of play. And it's essentially um, uh, a system which will modify the route as you play it. Um, so to give you an idea of um, what that means for the player, these are the routes that we uh, initially made for Chicago. These will be in the game. And uh, these are the ones that you can really hone your skills in. Um, they've got the corner sequences that our level design team have uh, spent arduous hours you know, making sure that they link perfectly and um, players will be able to sort of hone their time here. But they're finite, as I said. So once you've, once you've owned those, where do we go next? Well, we take all of that great knowledge that the level design team have uh, in terms of corner sequences, in terms of setting up the, the, the challenging sequences for players. Uh, we go out there, we initially use GPS uh, data, and then we sort of pick the, the corners that we think are going to work well. We go out there, get a feel for the track um, and the place that we go to. The, I'm going to use Chicago as um, an example today. So once we've done that, we have a situation where we've got a track built that we have 104 unique paths in, we have 24 intersections, and really that means for us that we, um, well, the logical extension of that for us was to uh, turn that into the live route system. So it essentially means that as players play through the game uh, with the system turned on, it means that moment to moment the corner sequences can change. So a very simple um, illustration of that is cars starting from the same position and the track is uh, essentially changing in front of them. So instead of going straight on in this particular section, uh, in that, sorry, in this particular section, the car went straight on. Um, in the other, you did a slalom. That's just at the most basic level how the system works. Uh, turning left, turning right, going straight on. Um, and essentially, that, that's working because everything that's built into the track in terms of the barriers, uh, the crowd, uh, the chevrons, and the set dressing, they are all seamlessly blending and changing in front of the player just out of eyesight. So you never see these things pop in, but the route will change and the challenge will continue to change. So the players have to be on the edge of the seat at all times. Uh, they have to have that attention level that keeps them gripped to the game uh, and have them, uh, you know, it gives you that challenge from moment to moment. This is a an extension of that explanation. So if you watch the car on the left, it's reached 140 miles per hour in the middle of this straight, but it's come at it from a direct straight before. This car has done a slalom in advance, and it's only doing 87 miles per hour. So the challenge coming into this right angle corner at the bottom is much different. It's very different for the player. So it's that that really captivated us. We thought that this system was something that was going to give us so much more in terms of the possibilities from our tracks. It gives us a new challenge and it gives us uh, something that we can uh, continue to play almost to the point where the, the combinations are limitless. You can continue to play this and not see the same sections repeat um, for, for very long periods of time. So there's no better way to illustrate it than to actually play live code. So if we can switch to the code demo. Um, Gin, who, as a car handling designer, should be able to um, play the game pretty well, is going to attempt to uh, gun his way down the track, and he'll show off how it's working. So, all that we've done in this is set it up so that around the sort of two minutes, uh, thir sorry, I, yeah, I lost my voice there. <laughs> um, at the two minutes thirty mark, it's going to pull you back to a specific tunnel, which is um, which is a landmark within this. So this tunnel here we'll arrive back at in two minutes time. But um, everything else about it is operating in a dynamic way. So the routes are actually changing up in front of the player uh, seamlessly in real time. So actually to uh, extend the, the usage of the tunnel as a, as a good landmark for this, we should probably see that a couple of times in this demo, um, but you'll actually approach it from numerous different angles. The challenge will be different every time you arrive at it. Um, 
So obviously, as it's operating in a completely uh, dynamic way, we can't guarantee when that's going to happen. So uh, the next time it appears, yes. Yeah, so if again, could you possibly pull up there? So obviously, the tunnel is now in the background, but um, you'll see that the track is now obviously sweeping across to the right. So the formation of the corners, the sequences, the challenge for the player at any one time is completely different. A couple of other things just to mention about this. Um, th in terms of online, this will be working online when you play against other players. The, tr the, the track will, um, will change as, as you play through the game. Um, and that's, a, that's an option that you can choose to turn on or off. <laughs> Almost lost it there. So uh, again, that was the, the tunnel, but this time we're sweeping across to the left. Um, I believe that that was a bridge that we started off at. So essentially, we've got all these different component parts to the level, um, which can be uh, run in all of the different directions. Um, and, and that also, so you can run them backwards, forwards, left and right. And it, it gives you almost endless uh, different combinations of corners. So actually, in this instance, you're coming up to this tunnel. Um, but previously you would have run through it uh, straightforward. This time it actually has a corner sequence going through the tunnel. And it should sometime soon begin to pull us back to um, the location where we saw the tunnel first. it's found its way back. So that's the end of the code demonstration. Um, and as you can see, the unpredictability of the different aspects of this track really offer uh, a really new challenge that's brand new for Grid 2 and also brand new for the racing genre. So.